Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel and a question that came through about temperatures in a gaming laptop or temperatures uh, simply on a computer. What is a correct temperature for a CPU or for the graphics processor and so on? And um, usually on systems, this core temperature is actually very variable. Uh, depending on the CPU you have, depending on the machine you have, if it's at AMD or Intel, the range of temperatures that are allowed is quite big. And so it's not uh, abnormal or surprising sometimes to see 50, 60, 70 degrees Celsius. And you might think, well, it's really too much, uh, when in reality it's within the range that is accepted with the uh, hardware that you have. So. How do you know if you run too hot or not? Well, one thing for sure is that if you are using a gaming laptop, uh, you will probably hear the fans running if you're using, like playing really you know, high-resolution games. For example, if I play Halo on my gaming laptop, the fans are just like going crazy. Uh, and it's normal because you're asking so much out of your device that it the gpu will heat up as it's actually doing a lot of calculations uh, even your processor your cpu might eat up on certain apps that uh, take a lot of power computing power the rule in general is that your pc has um, alerts and its limits and the cpu also so uh, for some people here i'm using an app called core temp but uh, on some PCs, just going to the task manager will give you uh, GPU, CPU temperatures if you look at the performance tab, and often they will be there. This machine does not. My gaming machine will have temperatures on the GPU, the graphics processor, for example. So, uh, But uh, if all else fails, you can use an app called Core Temp, which will give you the temperatures of your CPU. Now... A few things to note is that today's CPUs throttle down automatically when it's too hot. So that means your computer is going to go slower. If you start noticing that just using your PC, the fans are running hot, are really running you know, wild, and that performance is degrading, you might be uh, getting to the edge of what is um, a temperature that's way, way too high. And so what happens is that Intel and AMD CPUs will throttle down the speed of their computing power so that there's less heat generated. So that's one thing to note. The other one is that most motherboards today have temperature sensors and they will just shut down your computer if it comes too hot. So if you're doing something and your computer just shuts down, your PC might be running too hot and doesn't like it. And what makes a PC run too hot? A few things. You make sure that your PC has enough space all around it so that the airflow can continue going well because you need to have air going through your PC all the time to cool it down. The other thing is if doing nothing, just being on the desktop, your fans are running real, real fast, something is wrong. You should not be hearing any fans when you're on the desktop. Uh, you know, your PC is doing nothing. Now, one of the problems with that could be a runaway process. Once again, you can you know, just right-click on the start, go into the task manager, and uh, look at the processes. What you do is you just click on the CPU one and look at what is actually taking so much of my processing power. Maybe you have a runaway process and that can happen. But for the rest, it also can mean a cleanup. Your PC, after several weeks and several months and years of use, will actually slowly clog up with dust. This will slowly rise the temperature of your computer because the dust prevents the airflow from actually cooling down your CPU, your GPU. So a cleanup from time to time is not a bad idea. I recommend that you actually make um, an appointment for a cleanup with somebody that knows what he's doing. Do not go and you know, take your, uh, your uh, 
vacuum cleaner to uh, the, the, the PC or especially within the PC. It's not a good idea. In some cases, a little bit of um, dusting using compressed air could be uh, a good idea, but you got to be careful also with compressed air as it can have also other effects. But in general, if you see your PC going uh, at you know 50 or 60 degrees Celsius, uh, it's not necessarily a problem. It, uh, so today's CPUs and GPUs go at quite high temperature. Uh, in my case, I've got an Asus um, tough uh, gaming laptop. Um, I can tell you that with the games that uh, actually ask for the most processing power, uh, the GPU can easily go to 60, 65 degrees. Uh, my CPU can easily go to 50, 60 degrees. Uh, but when it's idle, um, it could uh, be like right now the GPU temp is at 35 degrees, which is okay. I mean, within a, a machine. So there are a lot of fail safe. Uh, on PC, so don't worry if it goes too high. Uh, either it's going to start slowing down or it's just going to shut down before any problems occur. And if that happens, maybe you need a cleanup, or sometimes if it's not the cleanup problem, I mean, a, re a reinstall of Windows from scratch will often fix the problem. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.